Ano man po ang mga pinagdadaanan natin? Praise the Lord pa rin. Ayan, tatype ko muna praise the Lord. Ay, ayan. Because... Alam niyo po itong ginagawa natin ay siyempre papuri lahat ito sa Panginoon. Right. We're not doing this for any man or any one of you but we're doing this first and foremost to God at yes. siyempre upang po magbigay liwanag sa ating pong mga kababayan at lahat ng Christian all over the world. All right. Ngayon pong gabing ito ay pag-aaralan natin ang isang napakamahalagang topic because we believe na tayo po ay nabubuhay pa rin dito sa ating uh, lockdown situation. And still, many people are really, anong tawag dito? Um, may mga nagpipm sa akin. They're suffering from depression. Please pray for me. May mga situation ho na sa family that really needs to be resolved. At alam niyo po, itong mga bagay na to ay hindi po maiiwasan. Kaya ang title ho ng message na ito ay ito. Are you ready? Type there. I'm ready. Come on, I'm ready. Yeah, I'll wait for you if you're ready. I'm ready. I'm also ready. Okay. Ang sabi ho dito sa Isaiah 43 verse 2. Now we're going to read Isaiah 43 verse 2. NI, NLT version. Let us read now. When you go through deep waters, I will be with you. When you go through rivers of difficulty, you will not drown. Wow, I love this. When you walk through the fire of depression or oppression, you will not be burned up. Mm. The flames will not consume you. I love it. Can we read the Tagalog version? Para po sa mga kapwa ko Pilipino sa buong mundo, ang sabi dito, kapag dumaan ka sa malalim na tubig, Sasamahan kita. Wow, I love that. God is speaking to Israel and to you and me. Tumawid ka man sa mga ilog, hindi ka malulunod. <laughs> Dumaan ka man sa apoy, hindi ka masusunog. At hindi ka matutupok. Alright, I just want to emphasize tonight, um, DSTers and people of God, believers, God did not promise us a trouble free life but God promised us a presence filled life ayan no ayan ah sa ala kung sino ang alam mo na sa iyo to type it there akin yan yeah akin yan i have a presence filled life si lord ho hindi ho nangako sa atin ano ho sabi ng bible no in this life you have you will have many troubles no kaya ang pangako ho ni lord ay hindi walang trouble or hindi trouble free meron tayong mga dadaanan ng troubles kaya naman nasulat tong Isaiah 43 pero ang pangako ho ng lord sa kabila ho ng mga troubles na to he promised us that he will go with us he will be with us type it there god will be with me <clears throat> come on Right. A presence filled life. Ilang beses ko na basa yung I will be with you says the Lord. Ilang beses yan. Kanina lang mga 25 times ko na basa yan in different in different books in different um ang tawag dito chapters ng bawat book in the Old and New Testament. I bet there are so many more na nagsasabi ng I will be with you. Kaya now this is The reason why we're going to talk about yung mga foggy situation natin sa buhay. Don't be afraid to walk in the fog. Ibig sabihin yung fog, alam niyo po yung fog. Let us show a vid or a, a picture <coughs> excuse me, of a fog, foggy day. Sige, pakita natin. Oh, ayan ha. May foggy day tayo. There. Pagka foggy day, para ang nakikita mo lang itong nandito lang sa banda rito. Or mga 1 meter, probably 2 meters, pinakamalapit na. Pero pag super foggy ho talaga, zero visibility. Alam niyo po, I have a, I have a very uh, um, good experience. Na one time, I, I was just, I, we were driving, kasama ko si tatay. Ako ho yung nagmamaneo. And during the day, <coughs> maaga ho yun, uh, so, nung umaga, napakaliwanag pa ng araw. Pero, Napakasikat pala ng araw. Nung bandang hapon na, may appointment ko kami with Pastor Ed. I think, um, na, if, I, I cannot really forget that day. Na papunta ko kami doon sa FT kasi doon siya nag, uh, nagtulog doon sa ano, Redwoods. No? 
Tapos mo, nung papunta na kami on the way to eh, to Fairview, grabe ang lakas po ng ulan. As in, biglang bumagsak zero visibility. And you know what? Ako po'y biglang natakot because I was trained to drive in, nung, I was trained or, or or trained to drive nang hindi maulan. Ako po'y nag-aral magmaneho nung ako po, maaraw na maaraw po. So during that time, wala ako experience. Imagine I do not have an experience driving on a foggy day or foggy night, much more on a foggy night. So it was, um, the rain was so heavy at talagang halos zero visibility. Ang bilis ako ng wiper ko, pero talagang halos hindi ko po makita. And that's why sabi ni Papa, use the fog light. Yeah, I, you know, yeah, I know a fog light, fog light. Tapos bigla ko nang binuksan yung fog light. And that's the very purpose of fog, uh, fog light in a vehicle. Kasi kapag ka nag-headlight ka, mas mag, magba-bounce back ho yung ano, yung yung ilaw, parang mas lalong glary. Pero kapag ka yung fog, sa baba ho yun, makikita mo, nakatutok ka lang sa baba yun. Like mga two, two feet above the ground, yun ang purpose yun, para makita mo yung baba. Okay, just for the baba, hindi yung sa malayuan. Now, alam niyo po, same thing in the Christian life. Minsan dumadaan tayo sa mga foggy moments in life na parang hindi natin alam ko ano yung nasa dulo. Tama? Tama po ba ako? Type it there. Tama po. Tama po. Parang itong pandemic, parang pinaliit ng pandemic ang mundo natin. ba? Diba? Parang ang nakikita mo na lang itong nandito ngayon sa harap. Mga one meter lang. Pero hindi mo na alam paano ba yung bukas. Lalo sa mga isudyante, no? Iniisip nila yung lalo yung mga graduating, eh graduating na, bakit ganito? Eto nga ho si Gail, ang daming mga laboratory classes na hindi alam kung paano itetake ang laboratory classes. Dahil medical student, eh, paano yun? ba diba? Hindi naman pwedeng online-online yun. Kailangan talaga nasa lab. So paano yung mga ganun? So in-offset ho muna lahat yung mga ganun. Parang iisipin mo kung ikaw ay isudyante, paano na? Paano matatapos ang pag-aaral? Paano matatapos? tapos ang kurso, paano kami gagraduate, eh much more yung mga naghahanap buhay pong mga magulang. Paano mangyayari sa pamilya ko? Ganito lang kaliit ang sweldo ko, sagay pa yung mga pasok namin, paano na? Nawalan pa ako ng trabaho. Pansinin niyo po, dito po sa verse na to, ang ganda ho ng sinabi ng ating Panginoon. Lantaran ho niyang sinabi, lantaran ho binanggit ng Panginoong Hesus ang mga afflictions and mga trials po na ating pong madadaanan. Ang sabi ho ng Bible in many different translations, when you go, sa ibang translations, when you pass through, sa, i- sa the message, when you're in. Ibig sabihin ho ng salitang when kapag. Hindi sinabing if. No? Meaning to say, um, it's, it's just a matter of time kung kailan darating. But it's obviously coming. It is coming. Yeah. Alright? Trials and testings will surely come. Foggy moments in our lives. Fog, foggy situation. Parang madilim. Parang wala kang makita. Blurry, misty situation in life will surely come. Dadaanan ho natin yan. Sabihin mo, dadaanan natin yan. Understand that the waters God is referring here, the waters, ano pa sinabi? The, the rivers, the fire, the flame. Grabe ho yan. Ano pong ibig sabihin yan? You and I will meet some or all, some or all of these trials before we finish our course in life. Bago matapos ang buhay na to, dadaanan ho natin yan. When you go, when you pass, when you're in. So, ibig sabihin, meron talaga hong oras na tayo po'y dadaan dyan. Ngunit, eto po, napaganda ng pangako ng Panginoon. Are you ready? Time is there. I'm super ready. Come on, you can do it. I'm super ready. Kaya ho, lalo ho tumatag ang aking uh, damdamin. Mas lalo ho ako nagbigay, nagbigay ho lalo sa amin ito at naniniwala ko sa iyo din ng malaki yung pag-asa. Bagamat sobrang blurry, bagamat sobrang dilim ng mga sitwasyon, marami natanggal sa trabaho, maraming nagsarang negosyo, marami parang nagkakasakit, marami din naman nakarecover at marami rin ho na, nasawian ng mga mahal sa buhay. But still, do not be afraid to walk in the fogs. Why? Because number one, I want to emphasize to you, get ready, you're a born survivor! Yeah! You're a born survivor! Give God the glory! Isang malakas yung palakpak sa Panginoon. Yes! Ayan. Alam ko yung iba sa inyo, hindi ba kapalakpak? Clap emoji na lang po dyan. Come on. Amen? So, ang galing ho nito. 
Bakit hindi ka matatakot kapag dumarating yung foggy situation? Ako halos mataranta. I tell you, yung paglikuho sa, sa SM doon, it was a roundabout going to Redwoods, um, ang tawag dito, condominiums. You know, I believe it was the longest roundabout in my life because ang bagal-bagal ko at sobrang nangangatog ako dahil sabi ko ano to, I've never drive. Alam niyo po, ganun din in the, in the Christian life. Marami ho sa atin, first time naranasan niya mga ganyang pagsubok. Ano man ang dinadaanan mo dyan, marami tayong mga first time na dumaan sa ganun. First time mong namatayan. Ako, first time kong namatayan ng anak way back eight years ago. First time. First time namatayan ng kapatid. Ten years ago. First time. You know, it was so blurry. Everything seems so blurry. Hindi mo alam kung anong mangyayari. Namatayan ng tatay, ng nanay. It was all so blurry. Those are the moments. But I tell you, dumaan man ho tayo sa mga blurry moments or foggy moments in our life. Remember, you're a born survivor. Sabi ho dyan in verse 1, Okay, verse 2a, When you go through deep waters, I will be with you. You know yung sabi, God is with us. Meaning, God has chosen you to really become a survivor. God has chosen you to really become a champion. God has chosen you to really become victorious. Sabihin mo, ako yun. Ako yun, pinanganak na ang mananagumpay. David there, I am a success. Come on, I'm a victor. I'm a success. Kung anong gusto mong i-type dyan, kaya mo yan. Pinanganak na ang natural na mananagumpay. You are a born survivor. Survivor means a per person remaining. Pakita mo anak, a survivor, alam mo ba ibig sabihin yan? Is a person remaining alive after an event in which others have died. Oh, grabe ho yan ha. Ang tindi ng pangako ni Lord. Yung iba na nga matay o hindi na kayanan sa pagsubok, ang mga darating na bagyo, mga madidilim na pagsubok, pero ikaw mananatiling nakatayo. I tell you, mananatili kang nakatayo. Type it there, I will stand strong. Come on! Dahil sinasamahan ka ni Lord. The reason you will stand strong, come on, I'm gonna wait for you, I will stand strong. I will stand strong. The reason behind our strength is because God is with us. Kasama mo si Lord. On our own, naku ho, matagal na po tayong bagsak. Hindi ho natin kaya yan. Kaya ho, mapapansin nyo yung mga dating Christian at lumayo sa Panginoon. Sobrang hirap bumalik. Uh -huh. Bakit? Kasi nawala ang Diyos sa kanila eh. Tapos pinaglaruan sila ng kasalanan, pinaglaruan ng demonyo, lahat na ng bisyo ay binagsak uli sa kanila. Dumoble pa, no? Ilang doble yon Tay? I ilang demonyo uli yung babalik sa kanya? Pito pa. Imagine pitong demonyo nagtulong-tulong doon sa box rider. E paano kang babalik? Iba na lang sa biyaya ho ng Panginoon. With the strength of the Lord. See? Number two, why must you walk? Or not afraid, be not afraid in walking in the fog. Because I tell you, you are indestructible. Uh -huh. Yeah, I love it. Every one of us who trust the Lord, who puts their hope in this, in God, you are indestructible. Alam mo bang meaning ng indestructible? Alright, let's read it. Incapable, walang kapasidad na masira. Walang kapasidad na maruin, mawasak. You are rend or rendered ineffective. Walang walang kapasidad na na mawalan ng bisa. You are indestructible. Hindi ka masisira, hindi ka maruruin, ano? Ang ganda ho niyan. Ano ho sabi? Sabi mo muna yan. I'm indestructible. Kaya mo ya, I'm indestructible. Nandiyan naman. Pakita mo girl yung number two. I'm indestructible. There you go. Y Ayan po. So, walang kapasidad kang masira, mawasak. If God is with you, hindi ka mawawasak. Hindi ka matatakot dumaan sa mga madidilim na bahagi ng buhay mo. Sa madidilim na pagsubok. Hindi, hindi ka matatakot. Type it there, hindi ako matatakot. <clears throat> Come on. Hindi ako matatakot. 
Lahat ho itong panahon na ito, napakadilim ho. Hindi natin alam ang pwede mangyari bukas. Every 15 days, nagbabago ng ng quarantine uh, order. ba? Diba? Sabi, uh, ECQ, tapos uh, another 15 days, ang buong April, uh, binigyan, binigyan ng half of the April, MECQ. Ngayon, ano yung susunod? MECQ pa rin, di nagdagan lang ng isang oras na adjustment ng 4 a.m. na yata ang curfew up to 10. You know, we do not know. It, it seems like ang, ang la, hindi mo maintindihan. Hindi mo makita yung future. Hindi mo matarok. Ano ba, ano ba yung bukas? Hindi mo makita. A, ano ba? Madini, mama, because it's all so blurry. <clears throat> But I tell you, when you go through rivers of difficulty, ang sabi dyan, you will not drown. Alam niyo po, The, the river is described um, expressive word po yan for calamity and danger. Pakita mo anak. River is, speaks of calamity and danger and challenges around you. No? May mga challenges po. May mga kalamidad na darating sa atin na magpapalunod sa atin. Uh -huh. no? Kala, pag sinabing river, no? meron ding ibig sabihin yan. Ang river ay pwedeng, ito po yung mga duma, rumaragasa, di ba? Ang river. Pwedeng calm, pwedeng rumaragasa. Pero during the ragasa period, it speaks of calamity. Parang maaalon ka, surge of water, andyan yung mga hampas, di ba? Yan po. Speaking of river, The experience, the experience we have right now is parang nasa river tayo. But I tell you, sabi ho ng Bible, when you go through rivers of difficulty, pag nahihirapan ka na, comes the time na nahihirapan ka na, hindi ka malulunod. Kung ikaw nahihirapan na sa mga agos, ang buhay, sa mga kalamidad, ang sabi ho dyan, hindi hindi ka malulunod. Yung parang patong-patong ang problema mo, hindi mo na alam ang gagawin mo. He, you, you're beginning to lose hope. God is saying to you, you will not drown. Type it there, I will not drown. Come on, you will not drown. Hindi hindi ka malulunod. Keep your focus on the mighty God. Keep your focus. Wag mong haya, wag kang pumokus dun sa sa fog. Wag kang pumokus sa fog. Focus on what's in front of you. Alam niyo po, every time we go in the fog or in the foggy road, dapat ang tingnan mo one step at a time, one meter at a time. Ganun lang ang tingin mo. Wag ka muna tumingin sa malayo. Ito muna. Wag kang kung sino yung nasa harap mo. Eh ang lagi hong nasa harap ho natin si si Lord. Si Lord goes before you. He goes with you. He goes ahead of you. God goes before me. Si nasa bahan ka ni Lord. Type it there. God goes before me. Andun na si Lord sa pupuntahan mo. Bago ka pa dumaan sa mga pagsubok, God has gone before you there. Na, naihawi na ng Lord ang mga dadaanan mo. Kakayanin mo yan. Ano ang sabi? Walang pagsubok na darating mo sa atin na hindi po natin kaya. Kasi si Lord, sinukat na, sinukat na niya ang mga pagsubok kung dadaanan natin. We will come out victoriously because you are indestructible. Type it there, I am victorious. Uh, victorious. Yeah, come on. Yes, you need to declare that. This is very clear. To whom confidence that we have in the Lord. Oh, dadaan tayo sa maraming pagsubok. But I tell you, God has been with there for us, Lord. No? Okay, number three. Why would you not be afraid in going through foggy roads or in foggy, in, fo in the fog? Because you are fireproof! Yeah! I love this! You are fireproof! Type it there! I am fireproof! I'm fireproof! Yeah! Hallelujah! I'm fireproof! Ang galing-galing naman ho ng description sa atin ni Lord. Ano ho sabi dyan sa verse 2c? When you walk through the fire of oppression, you will not You will not, you will not, you will not burn up. The flames will not, the flames will not consume you. Wow! Grabe ho ito. Dumaan ka man kapatid sa oppression, mga kabataan dyan. May mga oppression ho nararanasan din yan. May mga kabataan pa rin ho ng mga depressed. May mga magulang din na oppressed at depressed. Ano? At the same time. But I tell you, all these, all these schemes and, and lies from the enemy and strategies from the enemy, they will not burn you because you are fireproof. Type it there. I'm, a, I'm fireproof. 
Yeah, right. You know, fireproof means fireproof means against or resistant to fire. Hindi ka tinatablan, hindi ka nasusunog, hindi hindi ka masusunog. Tayvider, hindi ako masusunog. Tayvider, come on, I'm gonna wait for you. Hindi ako masusunog. I was just wondering. Alam niyo po, I, I was just wondering during my study, maybe the three Hebrew, Hebrew young lads, yung mga sila Meshach, Shedrach, and Abednego, I believe, siguro nung tinapon sila sa pugon ni Nebuchadnezzar, which was burned seven times or set seven times hotter than usual, seven times hotter, grabe pitong beses ang init, kung 100 degrees ang ang boiling point, meron Meron bang 700 degrees? Meron. <laughs> yung Ken Nebuchadnezzar na pugon. Doon ho sila nilagay. Imagine, boiling point ng, uh, ng environment times 7. Can you imagine that? Pero ano hong sabi ng Bible? Grabe! I love this! God, you are so true to your word. Napakatotoo ng Panginoon. Maybe the three Hebrews were, were reciting this, 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 um, um, line na sinasabi niya. Siguro habang nandun silang, I could just imagine they were singing and reciting, When I go through the fire of oppression, I will not be burned up. The flames will not consume me. When I walk through the, the fire of oppression, I, I will not be burned up. The flames will not consume me. When I walk through the fire of oppression, I will not be burned up. The flames will not consume me. Oh God, you are so true to your words. Alam Yung po nangyari sa tatlong Hebrew na yon, nagulat pa si Nebuchadnezzar. Sabi, oh, parang apat na nakikita ko, parang may isang anyong Diyos na nasa gitna nila. Grabe pa, grabe po. God is with us because you are fireproof. You are fireproof because God is with you. Type it there, God is with me. Amen. God is with me. That's the reason why we are so fireproof. Lahat na ng problema. Bring it on. Ang dami mo nang dinaan ng problema, right? Ang dami mo nang dinaan ng mga foggy situation. Ang ganun din ho kami. Kung may mention ko lahat isa-isa sa inyo, ang dami ho. I cannot even count all the foggy situations in our life, in the ministry. But you know what? God has been there for us. And, and, ang sabi ho sa Hebrew word nitong burn, you will not be burned. Alam niyo po yung Hebrew version nito. Ay sinasabi po dito, it means to penetrate, to prick. Yung to prick, tatagos talaga yung 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 usot, uh, apoy sa yo. To penetrate, to blister, a uh, bra- to be marked by brand by burning. Yun ho ang description ng burn dito. Pero ang sabi ho ng Panginoon sa kanyang word, you will not be burned. I love it. You know what, church? I'll end with this. Grabe po. I'm so overwhelmed with the assurance that when I go, when you go, dadaan ho talaga tayong lahat. Huwag kang magtaka. God did not promise us a life or trouble-free life. God promised us a presence-filled life. Tandaan mo yan lagi ah. Presence-filled life. Kasama mo si Lord. Ano mo nang daanan mo suliranin. Amen? And before I leave, I want you to watch a one-minute video. Let's watch this. Wow! Did you see that? Grabe po. It's what we call every 
aircraft has this instrument flight rules IFR they have this instrument that measures the speed the altitude the speed and the altitude the horizon or the altimeter yung level from the ground you know it's called IFR every aircraft has an IFR I tell you para saan yung IFR IFR is or are the instruments which rules the aircraft kung paano kung ano sila naka steady sila they they can they can land even if the visibility is reduced all right kahit puro fog nakita niyo po yung yung video puro fog and they were about to land hindi sila makaland but just relying on the IF, IFR they were able to land totally blocked po uh, with the clouds and all the mist you know but this their flying was not um, stop their flying or landing hindi ho sila na harang sa pagbaba or pagland because they rely solely they rely the pilots the pilots rely solely on that instrument in the Christian life meron din po tayong IFR and it's the Bible IFR the Word of God IFR is the Lord Himself we can rely on the Word Himself para on the Lord and on His Word minsan sobrang foggy ang buhay po natin paano na kaya ang pamilya ko paano na ang negosyo paano na ang pag-aaral paano na you know, paano ang lahat but you know your life will surely land safely your life will surely la- reach its destination your life will surely reach success your life will be uh, you will have a great future you will land safely you will land victoriously you will land strong and you will land up in abundance why kasi po meron tayong IFR and that is the Lord Jesus Christ yes. and His Word. Type in there. I rely on God's Word. I rely on God's Word. I rely on God's Word. See, I rely on God's Word. God has invested in you so much. Buhay po ni Lord ang ininvest niya sa iyo. God has invested in your life, education, skills, experiences, knowledge, yes. holiness. God has invested in you so much. He gave up His life for you and for me. Ano yun, para lang maligaw ka, masira ka sa foggy part ng buhay mo? No. I tell you Christians, do not wait till the road is clear of fog. Continue, continue to do God's will. Continue to obey. Kahit hindi mo nakikita yung bukas, tuloy lang, kapatid. Kung ito pa lang nakikita mo hanggang dito lang, tuloy lang. Si Lord, nakita na yung kalsadan mo. Take one step at a time. Take one day at a time. God has gone ahead of you. He's actually in front of you. He is guiding you. The Holy Spirit is guiding you. He is with you alongside. Stay on the clear path of obedience. Stay courageous. Stay confident. Stay confident in the promises of God. Kapatid, may mga naranasan ka bang parang magulo ngayong parte ng buhay mo. Stay confident in the Lord. Give your full trust in the Lord. No matter what you see, no matter what you experience, no matter what others say, Say to yourself, I will remain confident in God. I will remain confident in God. I will remain confident in God. Tandaan mo, you are a born. You're a born survivor. You're an indestructible. And you are a fireproof. God bless you. Thank you all for listening. If you want to dedicate your life to the Lord, I want to say a prayer, short prayer to you right now. Please raise up your hands. Father, thank you, Lord, for the life of every individual. Yes who wants to put their hope and trust in you. Thank Panginoon, you. linisin niyo po kami sa aming mga kasalanan. Yes. Patawarin. Hayaan niyo po kaming lahat ay makatanggap po ng pagmamahal niyo. Makakilala Amen. ng lubos sa iyo. Lord, we yes. accept you as our Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. And we put our life into Amen. your hands. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank Rule you. and 
rule our heart and mind in Jesus' mighty name. Yes. Amen and amen. God bless you. If you have been blessed, would you type it there? Glory to Jesus. Come Glory on. To Jesus. Glory to, to Jesus. Jesus. Oh. The one who is with you, the one who is with me, Glory. the one who is with us. Glory Jesus. to Jesus. Yeah. Tandaan po natin lahat. When you work, you work. But when, when you, you pray, pray God, God works. works. God bless, God bless you. you. We love yes. you. See you Sunday. See you Sunday, 10 a.m. God bless.